Russia's anti-satellite weapons test has garnered a lot of backlash. The U.S. has branded it, quote-unquote, a reckless mission. So let's break it down for you. On 15th of November, Russia tested an anti-satellite missile. This targeted one of its own satellites in space. It was a 1982 Soviet signals intelligence satellite that has not been operational since many decades. But the test led to a huge cloud of debris. Close to 1,500 pieces of waste are currently floating in space due to the strike. After the backlash, Russia's space agency said that the main priority is safety of all crew members in the International Space Station. This comes after Washington and NASA were furious with Moscow. The debris is causing a direct risk to astronauts aboard the ISS. The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of tra trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbitable, orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The United States will work with our allies and partners to respond to Russia's irresponsible act. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson also said that he was outraged by Russia's carelessness. In a statement, he said with, it, with its long and storied history in human spaceflight, it is unthinkable that Russia would endanger not only the American and international partner astronauts on the ISS, but also their cosmos, cosmonauts. Right after the test, the crew aboard the space station were awakened and asked to close the hatches. Currently, four Americans, a German and two Russians, are part of the crew. They were asked to take shelter in their return ships, which is known as the safe haven alarm procedure. Astronauts are trained to resort to this procedure only in the event of an emergency that might force evacuation. NASA says that the ISS continues to pass near or through the debris cloud every 90 minutes. Experts say it could take up to 10 years before the cloud clears up completely. The move reignites concerns about the growing space arms race. Anti-satellite weapons are high-tech missiles possessed by only few nations. India carried out a similar operation in 2019. The United States shot down a satellite in 2008. And China also demonstrated a similar knockout in 2007. For more on this, Julia Chapman joins us live from Moscow. Julia, good to see you and thank you very much for joining us. Astronauts on the space station had to seek shelter from a debris cloud, but reports suggest that its source is still unclear. Maybe you can start by explaining to our viewers what are the ramifications of such space junk to space missions and the Earth's orbit. Well, there's certainly a warning from the United States uh, Space Command and from NASA itself that this could be a problem for many years to come, affecting not just the space station uh, that is shared by a number of international partners, including Russia and the U.S., but also to the under-construction Chinese space station that is uh, currently being built at a lower orbit and is home to three Chinese Taikonauts. So there is concern for the human beings that are currently living in space, but also just for general space infrastructure, the satellites that we depend on every day uh, for internet connectivity and GPS, uh, among other uses. So uh, there is certainly uh, a fear that there could be some serious ramifications uh, from the debris that is now floating around in space. Of course, space debris uh, already is a an, an issue, but uh, this does certainly seem to be of a different proportion. It's worth mentioning that Russian officials haven't confirmed carrying out this missile launch test. All we've heard from the Russian side is uh, from Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, which says that it, the safety of all of the crew members on board the ISS is its highest priority, and it believes that the space station is not currently in danger. But on Monday, Russian uh, news agencies, before we knew that there was uh, something to be concerned about, they were reporting a number of moments where debris was approaching the ISS. And as you mentioned, that resulted in one particularly close 
close call when the uh, astronauts and cosmonauts on board the ISS had to then go into their respective space station, uh, spaceships uh, in case of an evacuation being necessary. Julia, the U.S. is infuriated by this purported Russia's actions. What are some of the repercussions could this have on Russia in the future, uh, you know, space missions? Well, it's certainly interesting because space is one of the rare areas of cooperation uh, between the U.S. and Russia, indeed, between Russia and many Western countries, but certainly the U.S. being the most noteworthy. They've been cooperating in space for several decades now, ever since the space race wound down at the end of the Cold War, and it has been hailed as a uh, an opportunity for the two countries to communicate in some field when there are very, very rare areas of agreement between the two countries. So any jeopardy to that collaboration uh, certainly puts the two countries at risk more generally, more broadly. It uh, removes the possibility of further dialogue. And it's certainly concerning that NASA has come out so strongly saying that this was a reckless move, uh, putting uh, people at risk. Uh, and Roscosmos is denying that there is any danger for them. But uh, the two space agencies uh, have a bit of a tense uh, relationship. So anything that puts that further at risk could be very damaging to the US-Russia relationship indeed. Finally, these tests have also raised questions about the long-term sustainability of space operations, uh, essential to a huge range of commercial activities, including banking and even GPS services. Could you tell us more about that? Well, certainly there is a, a risk that some of that could be damaged uh, by some of this debris. Uh, it's unlikely that uh, there would be another similar such incident uh, after the scale that we are seeing uh, today. And although there is a lot of space debris uh, currently in outer space, uh, none of it has been deemed to be quite at the level of what we're seeing at the moment. Um, but as to the long-term sustainability of space endeavors, uh, certainly the ISS uh, has been going for 21 years now, almost to the day. Uh, and that is a project that the Russians have been warning isn't going to last much longer, not for the uh, rest of this decade, which is why Russia has been exploring possibilities of creating its own space station and putting that into orbit. Um, but nevertheless, uh, NASA says that it is a long-term project and that space cooperation is very important. And space stations are a big part of that cooperation. Live from Moscow, thank you very much, Julia Chapman.